feel like I belong. You're gonna need a bigger church. Our country is a dark and divided place, but now there's hope and it's spreading. This is your home and I want you to tell all your friends about it. That right there, the brand new movie, Jesus Revolution. It is out this week. Actor Kelsey Grammer and the cast telling the story of a real life spiritual awakening in the late 1960s, early 70s. Our country in turmoil, hippies found Jesus and hope. Pastor Greg Laurie of Harvest Christian Fellowship in California was at the center of this powerful movement. And he joins us now to talk about the film and possibly some similarities in what we're seeing today. Pastor Laurie, it is a real pleasure to have you with me today. Thank you so much. Bianca, great to be with you. Thanks for having me on. Well, you know, the film tells about your story of how you came to find Jesus and the Calvary Chapel in Costa Mesa, California, sort of having this movement at the time. You wrote a piece this week, Pastor, saying, quote, now we don't decide when a revival happens. God does. I can't help but ask you, this movie being released now, as we see in Kentucky, Asbury University, nonstop prayer, do you feel that there is a similarity here? When I mean, this movie was thought of in 2015, but today, this moment, Pastor Lori. Yes, I do, Bianca. It, you know, it's interesting, the parallel between the two. John Irwin, the director of this film, was not around during the Jesus movement. He's in his late 30s, but he wanted to make this movie. So talking with me, my wife, Kathy, others that were there, we tried to the best of our ability to describe what it was like. And John, masterfully, as a great director, captured this in this film where you really feel like you're experiencing it. Well, John went over there to Asbury uh, University in Kentucky and said, Greg, it's just like the scene in the film. So it's sort of like art imitates life, right? No, <laughs> life, I don't want to say life's imitating art, but it's like life is happening. And, you know, we were trying to have this film made like five years ago, and we were ready to shoot uh, a couple of years ago, and COVID hit. We couldn't shoot. Then finally we got it done, and it's out now. And the timing could not be more yes. perfect. It really seems to me like God is at work, and are we seeing the beginning of another spiritual awakening among young people. One thing you can't deny, there is an awakening among young college campus uh, students. So that's a given. But is that going to expand? We don't know, but I'm very excited about it. I'm excited to see the film. Um, and, and part of it, you talk about how you found the Lord on your high school campus. Um, you know, I'm a mom of a young woman, a young girl, 17, entering the world. You know, we report heavy news here. We have war. Uh, talk of nuclear war, uh, Pastor Lori. You know, at home, there's so much violence, and we hear about fentanyl killing children. Um, tell us, uh, our viewers, how we remain hopeful uh, with everything going on in the world today. We know that, you know, your faith in Jesus gave you the hope. Can you share that message to folks out there who maybe haven't come to accept Christ? Yeah, great question. Thank you. Yes, I can. I mean, we were dealing with similar issues back in the late 60s, early 70s, you know, political division, racial division, the concern and worry over a nuclear war. And here we are having this conversation again. It's hard to believe when we hear our world leaders talking about possibly using nuclear weapons. It's a scary time. Uh, the CDC just released a report talking about how sad and unhappy young people are, especially young uh, uh, girls. Now, your daughter is the same age I was when I became a Christian. I knew nothing of the Christian faith. I knew nothing about the Bible. I was a drug-using, lost person, but I had a hunger to know truth. I wanted to know God. I just didn't know quite what I was looking for yet. And it was the message of the gospel. I believe, Bianca, if people will go see this film, they will see exactly in a beautiful artistic way what happened to us. This film is entertaining. It's not a sermon. It's a story. It's you'll laugh out loud. You'll shed more than a few tears. And it will really connect with young people. We know this because we've test screened it in front of thousands and thousands of people, many of the them trailer young, they're is, connecting to it. The yeah. trailer shows how beautiful it is. The fact it is a major studio, it is Lionsgate. Uh, Jonathan Rumi is yeah. also in it. He plays Jesus in yeah. the Chosen series. Yes. It does seem like there is a thirst for more 
content like this. Jesus Revolution is yes. open now. Pastor Greg Laurie, wish we had more time. Please come back with us here. I, I love the story and wish you continued success on spreading this important word today. Well, thank you, Bianca. And people can see it tonight. And, and then it opens to more theaters on Friday. But you might find it in the theater near you tonight. Go see Jesus Revolution. And I pray that God will use it to impact your life. Pastor Lori, thank you for your time today.